Given the statistics, you must know by now that attacks by wild animals can be dangerous and fatal most times. Sharks cause just six deaths a year. However, their infamous reputation is very exaggerated through these statistics. More than sharks, wolves cause around 10 deaths annually. Lions kill 22 people a year. Elephants, despite how cute and adorable they look, cause around 500 deaths a year. Can you imagine? Hippos also cause around the same number of deaths. About 1,000 people lose their lives every year because of crocodile attacks. But snakes have the largest kill count by far. Around 100,000 humans die due to the poison bites of this scaly reptile yearly. Today, Purple Hippo brings you these top 10 must-knows for surviving wild animal attacks so you can prepare for any perilous situation in the case that you come across a wild animal. It is advisable that you watch the video carefully because this might help you save yours or somebody else's life one day. So subscribe to Purple Hippo right now so you can continue to receive notification about life-saving videos, be it in the case of animal attacks or boredom. At number 10 is sharks. The good news is that out of a hundred species of sharks existing on Earth, only 20 attack humans. Most of them just don't consider you as a tasty dinner. However, if a shark tries to prey on you, it's very difficult to break free. Sharks get attracted by the smell of your blood or urine. So as not to attract any attention of sharks, it is imperative that you prevent blood and urine from mixing into the water, as the scent of it may alert the sharks as they can smell it at distance of several miles. If you do encounter a shark, don't turn your back on the predator. It is absolutely necessary that you keep calm and don't panic, because these beasts can also sense fear and consider you a prey even from afar. It is advisable to move slowly and carefully. On the off chance that a shark has grappled you, don't panic. Instead, aim at its eyes and gills as these are the most sensitive and weak points for a shark. At number 9 are the kangaroos. Kangaroos may seem very innocent and adorable creatures just hopping around from one place to another with a tiny kangaroo in their pouch. But believe me, they pose a serious threat to the lives of humans. However, it will only happen if you enter its personal space and the kangaroo feels threatened. To avoid any possible conflict, you should take the following steps. First of all, cough. Yes, this may sound weird but the kangaroos take that cough as a sign of disease and thus won't attack you or want to come near you. However, your cough should be brief and not that loud as to startle the kangaroo as then it may react aggressively. Secondly, you should move back slowly. This way, you will seem smaller to the kangaroo and thus less dangerous. Don't turn away and run. It will only provoke the animal to pursue you. These animals are really long jumpers and will easily be able to catch you. So don't try to outrun them. Lions at number 8 If, unfortunately, you ever come across a lion and you're face to face with it, try to maintain eye contact despite how scary that may feel. You should not turn your back to the predator and you should always stare into its eyes. This way, it will not be able to attack you from behind or prepare for an attack. Moreover, you should try to look more massive. You can do this by jacking up your arms. This way, the lion will consider you as a big and threatening creature and will slowly back off on its own. You should also not stay silent or panic. Instead, you should talk to the lion in a loud and confident manner, make conversation with it, and try to reason with it to back off. Think of it as your pet cat and how you would talk to it if you're trying to train him or her. 
Making sounds and gesticulating will throw the lion off, as it will be confused since victims don't normally seem this confident. This way, the lion will consider you superior, as well as annoying, and will stay away from you. It's better to be considered boring than to be eaten, right? At number 7 are the elephants. Elephants are sly animals. They are known to attack humans, especially female elephants who are overprotective about their babies. And if they feel even the slightest threat from you, they may attack you. And trust us, it's not easy to save yourself once an elephant has gotten a hold of you. If you come across an elephant, pay attention to their body language exclusively. If their trunk is curled and their ears are stretched back, it means that they have decided to trample on you. If the elephant nears you, don't run. Try to find a rock or a tree or something that can become an obstacle between you and the elephant. The Moose at Number 6 If you don't know, a moose is one of the biggest animals you may encounter in the woods. They are a little timid and normally run away from humans themselves. However, during the fall season, it's their mating time, and thus, they're always very alert. It can be very dangerous if you invade their personal space or stumble upon what they might consider their territory. This is because during the breeding season, the male moose is always agitated and furious, and thus wouldn't let any person come near their female moose. In Siberia, it is said that the moose is more terrifying than a bear. You shouldn't approach moose calves or make any sudden movements. You should silently creep away if you hear a moose roar, as their sound can be very frightening. You should gradually clear their path and hide behind an object, be it a stone or a tree, since if a moose is running on its way, it will not turn back and they have really bad eyesight too. So instead of running, you should just hide. You can also start playing loud music, as it will confuse and startle them, because they are naturally timid beasts. Number 5 are the bulls. Contrary to popular beliefs, bulls react to movement and not red color or any other colors. Therefore, if a bull starts pursuing you, keep still and don't move. Use your hat or other articles of clothing as bait. When the animal follows you, throw the article of clothing as far from you as possible and the bull will start following the object that you've thrown. At number 4 is the jellyfish. A jellyfish sting can be extremely painful. Some people believe that peeing on the sting can relieve your pain significantly. Part of this education also comes from the famous TV series Friends, where Monica gets stung by the jellyfish and then Chandler pees on her. However, this is a huge myth. If you get stung by a jellyfish, you should rinse that place with salty water. If you use pure water, it will make it hurt more. Then you should use a pair of tweezers or a stick at hand to pluck away the remaining parts of the jellyfish on your skin. Next, you should apply antihistamine ointment on the burn immediately. So next time, don't forget to carry the ointment tube when you go to the beach. And for our top 3, we have the angry wild boar. Boars don't normally attack humans so frequently. Although, this is how King Robert Baratheon died in the Game of Thrones. An average wild boar runs away upon seeing a human. However, tuskers can attack a person. And thus, you shouldn't run away if you come across a tusker, as it will catch up with you. You should also know the weapon you're using, as boars have very thick skin. And if you attack them with a weak weapon, it won't hurt them and will only make them angrier. Instead, you should hide behind a tree or stone so the animal can't see you or maybe climb a tree. You can also make loud noises to throw the boar off. Number 2 are the alligators or crocodiles. Alligators or crocodiles have the strongest jaws on the entire planet. So if this beast has caught a hold of you, breaking free is your last straw. And let me tell you, it's not easy. If you have been grabbed by an alligator, hit their eyes or their throats, as these are their weakest and most sensitive points. The alligator will immediately let you go. 
If the beast is crawling towards you, make as much noise as you can to baffle the alligator. You can also run in a zigzag direction. This will immediately throw off the beast and won't be able to follow you. Moreover, if you come across one while you're swimming, don't create splashes in the water as it will only attract the crocodile. On top of our list are the snakes. Snakes can be venomous or non-venomous, but most people get 80% of their bites trying to get a hold of this reptile. If you do find yourself in a situation where a snake is following you, you should stomp your feet on the ground as hard as you can when you walk. The vibration created by your stomps will baffle the snake and it will let you free. If you get beaten by a snake, do not, I repeat, do not try to suck out the poison with your mouth as you've seen the heroes do in movies. That's an urban myth and doesn't work at all. Instead, rinse the snake bite with plenty of water, then apply tourniquet on the wound and call the ambulance. These were the top 10 tips to be able to survive wild animal attacks in the smartest of manners. Have you ever encountered a wild animal? How did you react? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Purple Hippo and ring the bell icon to get updates on the video we upload daily. See you on the next video.